Hi, one question that has come in, um, if faculty want to do presentations in an online format instead of having synchronous presentations like you would use Zoom and you can have students share their screen both individual or for a group and that um, walking you through that is shown in that faculty uh, best practices conversation video so you can look for that for a uh, synchronous session but if you're wanting to do it in an online format there are a few different ways that you can actually do that. So one way that you can do it, if you are wanting students to be able to see everyone's presentations and comment, you can create a discussion board. And I will show you from a student perspective what that looks like um, in a, a few minutes. And so anyway, at this point, what I've done here is, you know, students will be able to go in and hit reply and they can upload their presentation and then other students reply. You could also do this, let's say you didn't want to do the entire class, but you wanted to do small groups. So then you could say that this was a group discussion. And then remember in the other video with people, that's where you set up your groups and you can set up your groups that way. So, you know, this is a great way discussions for the entire class to see or small group. You can also, if you're wanting students to get feedback from each other on uh, presentations, you can create an assignment that is a peer review assignment. So I just created an assignment and then I would select that it requires peer reviews. I can manually assign the peer reviews or I can let Canvas automatically assign and how many reviews per user. And you could also make it where it's anonymous as well. So. Uh, that is a great option if you're wanting to do peer review. You can also just create an assignment um, as well that then students would be able to um, submit presentations through assignments, which I'll go over as well. But let's go back to um, the discussions. And I'm going to show you how, and this works um, um, in the student view now. So I'm a student, I need to submit my presentation. So I love this because there are multiple options. So students could actually record using whatever, you know, screencasting tool that they have, PowerPoint, uh, Screencastify, Screencast-O-Matic, any of those that they want. And they could uh, have an MP4 where they can kind of embed uh, some certain things there um, they could also link um, to a URL. So if they've saved it to Google Drive, they can also use Studio and it would just launch it right here where students are able to go in and record right here uh, from Studio. You could also record or upload media. Uh, so here I am right now. Um, so I could record right here, or this is where I could also upload a, a video file that I may have um, on my desktop as well. So lots of options for students to be able to uh, then post their reply. And then once students have done that, then they can reply to each other and give comments or ask questions um, and do that peer review piece. Also, um, so that's how you would have students in an online format provide feedback to each other um, and, and especially for the entire class. You could also create your assignments where a student can then submit assignment. And this is for if they if you're having them do some type of a video file, they can they can upload a file. They can use a website URL. They can upload record and upload media just like I had earlier here. They could also use Google Drive and upload something from Drive, but then they also can record from Studio and Enter as well. So lots of options for students to be able to create videos and share them in that online format. So hopefully this will help you as you are thinking about changing uh, some of the ways that you may have been presenting in the past and being able to use Canvas as a tool to be able to still have students do their presentations. Thanks.